Back in October 13th, Apple released the iPhone 12 mini, seemingly a response to people's request of bringing back smaller flagship phones. And well, apparently it didn't do so well, with sales of the phone being much lower than expected. Now in 2021, we have the iPhone 13 mini, rumored to be the last mini iPhone for a while. So I just wanted to make this video for more people to know about the mini and to give it a shot because I want more people to experience um, this smaller phone and hopefully Apple will continue to make these uh, smaller flagship devices in the future. So here are five reasons why you should get the iPhone 13 mini. So before we get into this video, I'm not reviewing this phone. I'm just a tech enthusiast that recently picked up the iPhone 13 mini coming from uh, a Samsung Galaxy S9. I've been using Android phones for over 10 years now. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how the screen size is gonna be smaller or the battery life isn't as good as the other iPhones or that Face ID still kind of sucks when you have to wear a mask and that they should have implemented a Touch ID system instead. I'm not going to tell you about that, but what I am going to talk about is the form factor. The form factor on the iPhone 13 mini is just amazing. And it's really hard for me to go back to other phablet phones now because holding it in your hands, just it just feels right. And it just feels like a phone shouldn't be any bigger than this. One hand operation is a breeze and you can even fit a chunkier case onto it and not feel like you're carrying around a brick. So the mini is currently my everyday carry as well. And I've even picked up a card holder to replace my wallet. and so far, the experience of carrying less stuff has just been so refreshing and I highly recommend it. So one of the main concerns I had before picking up the Mini was the screen size. And I have to say that this has been a non-issue. I still manage to watch a moderate amount of YouTube on my phone, manage my investments, as well as do most of my online banking through my phone as well. And the Mini has not slowed me down. I have heard other people say that um, getting the Mini might help reduce their screen time, reduce their social media consumption, or just overall use their phone less. On the surface, this sounds like a great idea and it even sounds like it might work, but in practice, this has not been the case for me. I think my screen time has actually gone up after getting the iPhone 13 mini. And so if you're planning on reducing your social media consumption in this way, I suggest you look at other methods because this is not the right way of going about it. Battery life. Battery life is not going to be a problem. So if you're okay with the iPhone 12s or iPhone 12 Pro's battery, then this iPhone 13 mini basically has the same uh, battery life. If you really, really, really need to have a huge battery, then, then check out the iPhone 13 or the 13 Pro Max. This phone wouldn't really be right for you. But for most people out there, this phone will last a whole day pretty much easily. Cameras, they're good. I'm actually filming this video right now on the 13 mini. My previous video as well was also filmed on the 13 mini and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the of the cameras. The iPhone 13 mini now has the iPhone 12 Pro Max's cameras with sensor shift stabilization as well as having a larger sensor. This overall improves low lighting performance as well as uh, stabilization when it comes to video recording. And of course, uh, if you watch the Apple event, then you know about cinematic mode. Cinematic mode is pretty cool, but I do think it's in its early stages and I won't really be using it that much. Honestly, I think it's somewhat of a gimmick at this current stage, but as Apple develops uh, the software more and more, it will get better and better over time. And I do think it will be uh, pretty useful in the future. But as of right now, I'm not planning on using cinematic mode. The wide and ultra wide lenses on this phone are great and they haven't given me any issues so far. All the iPhones now come with 128 gigs out of the box with a smaller notch, as well as the A15 Bionic. And I overall think the jump in uh, upgrades is more significant from the 12 mini to the 13 mini compared to the 12 to the 13. So the iPhone 13 mini now is just a fundamentally better phone and these upgrades have really taken it to the next level. Price. So if you're looking to upgrade your phone this year, the cheapest iPhone out there is the iPhone 13 mini. And I think it's probably the best deal right now for all the new iPhones. And I suggest you don't even need to look at the iPhone 12s as they all come with 64 gigs uh, on the base model and they, they miss out on all the new upgrades that the 13s offer. So if you're on the fence about the iPhone 13 mini, I suggest you take the chance and get it. I really don't think you'd be disappointed. All my worries that I had before getting the iPhone 13 mini were unwarranted, like the battery life, the screen size, or even using iOS. So far, the experience has been great, and I definitely recommend picking up this phone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I normally make 3D printing videos, tech videos, and unboxings. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, then hit the subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions, and I'll get back to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time on Packages Hacks.